So much of the daily minutia that comes with teaching is unnecessarily time-consuming and takes away from the bulk of the teacher's duty, which is to teach. However, with the help of Google Sheets, you can streamline many of the processes associated with this daily minutia, as I will demonstrate. And before I move on, if you enlist my services through Fiverr, I can create such sheets for you. Link in the description below. Anyway, among some of those things are contacting parents and actively monitoring student attendance. And though schools utilize tech platforms like Infinite Campus to facilitate these processes, they don't necessarily have the capabilities to streamline certain specific processes that have been developed by your particular institution, or the processes just don't flow smoothly for various reasons. Take contacting parents, for instance. While everyone may agree that it is a good practice to contact all parents frequently and for things outside of poor behavior or grades, with rosters of up to a hundred and something students, Doing so in a time-efficient manner is impossible. It can sometimes take 45 minutes to call a mere three parents. And though programs like Infinite Campus have a record of parents' phone numbers and sometimes emails, contact information is sometimes incorrect or missing, and thus, there's no efficient way to send mass messages to all parents. However, one can utilize the reports that Infinite Campus, or any other software your school may use, creates in conjunction with Google Sheets to meet the specific needs of your institution. This first video in the series will be dedicated to seeing how this works with generating a list of updated parent emails for the purpose of mass communication. As many programs like Infinite Campus will require school clerks to update parent information through the system, it would be easier instead to have students or parents complete a Google form in which parents' updated emails and phone numbers are provided. A master parent contact database can be generated from the responses to such a form, and the sheet that I have created for myself and my institution pulls from this master parent contact database and matches the parent's email to the student with the correct ID number, thus allowing for teachers to have an updated list of all their students' parents' emails with a simple upload of a blank spreadsheet report, as I will demonstrate. You will just select all of your classes here, and you may or may not want to have the box for group by section checked off on the right. Then, on the bottom left, you will want to make sure these two boxes are checked off, since the sheet will match parent emails to the student by ID number, and also because you don't want any students who are no longer on your roster to appear on your Google Sheet. And then you will generate a CSV file of that report. And when you upload it to your Google Sheet, which you see has several tabs on the bottom, all of the parents for which you have emails will appear. But you will upload to this particular tab, the one that says Upload CSV. And you do that by going to File, Import, and then going to Upload, and then either selecting the file from your computer or just dragging it from your downloads or wherever your downloads save. And when you upload, make sure you go to the drop down and select the option saying Replace Current Sheet. That is important as you'll only want to replace the data in this tab. And once you have that data imported in the Parent Emails tab, using the simple formula, I can have the sheet pull the parent's emails from the spreadsheet with the responses of the form that was used for the master parent email database. Of course, this can always be a DIY experiment, but since the purpose is to save time, I can create the form for the master parent contact database and the Google Sheets that will draw from that form's responses so teachers can easily access parents' emails from the master database with a simple upload of their roster from Infant Campus or whatever other student management system your organization may use. My next video will be dedicated to demonstrating how this sheet can be used to send mass emails to students utilizing data from reports generated by Infinite Campus, which can also apply to any reports generated by whatever student management system your school utilizes. Please enlist my services on Fiverr, link in the description below, and as always, 
If you find this content useful, please like, comment, and if you feel so inclined, do subscribe.